Kasiguran is a land of unspoiled virgin beauty and home to the Aurora Pacific Ecozone or APECO, a development that will initially cover 12,923 hectares. The Philippine government established the Aurora Special Economic Zone and Freeport or APECO a few years ago, supposedly to afflict the lives of people and attract trade and investment in the northeastern part of Luzon Island. But people in the province of Aurora, especially farmers and members of tribal communities, are not happy. They say the project will displace thousands of residents and deprive them of their future. The economic zone, the people claim, will eventually drive 22,000 residents of Kasiguran town and nearby municipalities from their homes and sources of living. Fishermen say the project will disrupt fishing activities while at least 13,000 hectares of productive lands will be converted into support infrastructures for the economic zone. The residents recently trooped to Manila to bring their case before legislators. The people say they used to live in paradise, but the project threatens to destroy their livelihood and resources. They want government to stop funding the project. They ask the church, civil society groups, and students to support their cause. Vita Banayad, chieftain of the Agka tribe in the village of Paraiso, or Paradise, in Kasiguran town, visited the University of the Philippines in Manila. She hopes her children will have the same opportunity to go to school. The local Catholic Church says the people have all the rights to protest. Local priest Jofran Talaban, a vocal critic of development projects in the area, say lives are at stake and the church will not turn from its obligation to walk with the people. When people are coming to the church and asking for help, being a mother, the image of the church as a mother, could not just uh, do away from, from this issue. And the church has to make a stand to identify herself with the struggle, the pain, the hopes, the grief of the people should be also taken as a grief, a joy of, of, of the church. Uh, according to the social teaching of the church, action in behalf of justice is really a constitutive dimension in the proclamation of the gospel. The people say they will not stop their protest actions until the government listens to them. Until that time, they will continue defending their peace of paradise.